what's your school? Hi, uh, I'm from Sujata Vidyalaya in Ukegota. Can you introduce your team members? Uh, I'm Ravini. I'm Yasuri. I'm Anjali. I'm Rashmi. Can I know what your project is about? Um, it's about crime preventing. And yeah, preventing crime. So how is it, how is it like, is it useful to the society? Yeah, obviously. It can save many lives and, you know, preventing crimes, basically. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy working together for this project? Yep. Okay. All the best. Thanks. moment in this world somewhere a crime may be happening have you ever thought that whether your life is safe whether your lives of your loved ones are safe have you ever thought about that when something happens it's it's uh, this reactors are very good at blaming others well what we've done today is something which can be used to prevent blaming on others. Um, this video shows that you can't actually uh, you can't actually say what's going to happen to you at this moment. Maybe you are living this moment, the next minute you are dead. So do you think that your life is safe? In order to take you deep in, I would like to invite my friend in the state, on the stage. Moving on to our presentation, first of all, I will tell you what a crime is. A crime is an action which constitutes an offense and is punishable by the law. In Sri Lanka, the crime rate, especially the homicide rates, have increased and in most of the cases, the criminal is not discovered. The problem description of our project is that with the increase in population and with the inequality of economic, economic status, the crime rates have increased, uh, thefts, burglaries, murders, homicides, etc. can be taken as examples. This is a statistical analysis about the crimes that happened in Sri Lanka during past three years. And according to this, the highest, highest rate uh, which is 40% uh, is for drug usage and drug deal while the second high highest rate which is 13% is for house breaks, thefts and assaults. When all this happened, there are 481 police stations in Sri Lanka and according to a media report, uh, it, state, uh, it states that uh, to a crime to be concluded, it takes 17 years in Sri Lanka and over to Russia study in Sweden suggests that teens who have lower resting heart rates uh, will increase uh, risk committing uh, violating crimes. In the year 2009 in Sweden, the uh, 710,000 men uh, who have measured heartbeat uh, at the age of 18 years old <coughs> as a part of uh, military services. Uh, some uh, researchers had divided men into five groups uh, according to their heartbeat. The men with the lowest heartbeat, uh, 60 per minute or less, uh, to be committed uh, crimes uh, in future compared with the uh, men, uh, compared with the men's heart rate, men's high, highest heart rate, 83 per minute or more. The men's uh, viola violent mm -hmm. crimes included uh, murder uh, and several others. Uh, over to you, Ramini. When a, in a time of crime, when the crime happened, 
violence, the, crimin uh, the criminal's heart rate increases due to the undergoing of emotions such as anger, anxiety, fear, and also stress. But as my friend said, as per the uh, recent researchers, they found that teens with lower heart rate, they become so cold that at the times of uh, the crime, their heartbeat doesn't increase. So for our project, we've used these abnormal frequencies of heart rates uh, to prevent uh, such crimes, happen crimes happening. We have to specialize sound and visual equipment to prevent criminal activities based on IoT and AI. Uh, if you ask me how I got this idea, I have two dogs at home. One is a lion palm and uh, the other is a uh, a German Shepherd. The lion pom, he, she, is a she actually. She is very friendly with everybody, but the other is not. But at a time of, you know, something abnormal happening, she is very ferocious. She is even the German Shepherd, who is fit, uh, five times bigger than her, is a friend. All you can see is him putting down his tail behind him and going off. Uh, this concept made me think, if a dog can hear her heartbeat, and if, and if, sorry, um, actually I've used this for, um, you can use, uh, if you take a dog whistle, the dog whistle frequency and the heartbeat's frequency are the same. And so this made me think, if a dog can hear a heartbeat, and if we and if we can hear uh, the dog whistle, if we can uh, detect the dog whistle using a microphone, why can't we detect the heartbeat in the microphone? So I I've, I've uh, taken this mic uh, this microphone and using microphones and CCTV cameras, uh, these these special microphones can uh, detect heartbeats and then segregate the abnormal frequencies of the criminal's heartbeat and then through CCTV cameras and fiber optic cables we can transfer, transfer the data to the nearest law enforcement uh, institution or the police through a VPN. Uh, let me stress on the fact that we are not sending this only into the police, we are also sending this to the nearest law enforcement in the institution because police in Sri Lanka can be a little a tad lazy. Uh, and also, uh, while at the end, they can use the GPRS system to track down the criminal and uh, and prevent the time uh, prevent the time before it uh, happens. Uh, while I was preparing this, one of my uh, colleagues came up with a question: What happens? If by the time the law, in, uh, law, the law officers come, what happens if the crime has already happened? For that, we came up with a solution. We can actually uh, make this a variable device, uh, and if if the said criminal ca uh, comes within a distance of one meter with you, we can uh, can actually track through the microphones fixed on the CCTV cameras. We can actually track down his heartbeat and send send you an alert saying that there is something abnormal going on and he can take self-defense mechanism of himself. And to uh, make a pro prototype, actually we faced a difficulty because uh, we did we had only two weeks and to ex uh, import that micro microphone, we actually need two months. So what we decided to do is make an animation of what we are going to do. Let's watch it.
have not done a thorough cost estimation. But according to uh, the research we've done, we've found um, from uh, air pollution solution done by the city of New York in 2016, they've used a somewhat similar mechanism. And because of that, taking that into consideration as well, uh, we found we done a rough, we've done a rough estimation of US dollars 15 to 20,000 per 2030 square kilometers. Uh, let me stress on the fact that this is not the correct figure, which the rupee value we found out that this will be about 3 million per sector, taking into consideration uh, the CCTV camera cameras and the police uh, infrastructure facilities available in Kalamba City. The, the conclusion actually, like I said, Nobody knows what's happening in our house, what's happening in the, uh, on the road, on the public. Let's say if you're, going, you're going to work. And do you know whether your child is safe? You don't know. By using this mechanism, we actually hope to uh, reduce the number of crimes happening in Sri Lanka and also save lives. As my friend said, this is a we gain an intangible profit. Normally, when people do inventions, they actually think about what they gain. But what I think is, when you do an invention, it's not important whether you gain a profit or not. But still, if it does something to the society, it's really good. So I think money is not my main problem here. And if we take this. Uh, forward, I am. I will. I, mean, I have a hope, like, to give this free of charge. <coughs> Thank you.